numbers. As this coronavirus spreads, more than 160,000 cases in the United States. Nous sommes en guerre. The world has become much quieter. With time, as with the virus, everyone is equal. But people cope in different ways. A painful past experience helped us lay a solid foundation. Our insignificance helps us see further. We constantly seek out a balance with limited resources. Honest people are braver than those who lie to themselves. We deplete our own vitality to safeguard the vitality of others. Even when free, we still keep an appropriate distance. When disciplined, we show respect. We set a minimal requirement to ensure a normal daily life and equally defend ourselves. Underneath a regular rhythm is the heartbeat of our calling. We conceal our faces responsibly, out of love for one another. Our new look makes us more alike and makes it easier for us to sense good intentions. May you be safe and healthy are the words we say, marking the tireless efforts of countless people. Somewhere unseen, we do our bit without much fanfare. We face our fears together and thereby generate more courage, combining all of our expertise and making possible something never done before. We leave no stone unturned in bringing you all home. We show our weaknesses, we welcome the help that we can get, and we do our best to help others. Prejudices discarded. We work together to steer people in the right direction. Putting on a proud expression, we do not hesitate to stand at the front. We deliver our care to wherever you are. A little more patience gives a little more warmth. Meeting challenges while still improving ourselves brings a tomorrow that we can look forward to. We return to our loving home, our footsteps even more determined for our next departure. The epidemic has led to a reinterpretation of distance. We are further apart, but our hearts draw us closer together. No one should be left behind on the long road to good health. Your silent cheers grow clearer when we're feeling isolated and helpless. Solidarity is the only way to safeguard our world. But we're going to follow pretty closely the Taiwanese model. There are countries like Taiwan who are exemplary. Taiwan's role as an observer in world health.
assembly meetings is in the best interest of the international. In 2003, Taiwan faced the SARS alone. This time, Taiwan chooses to stand with the world in the face of coronavirus pandemic. No one can isolate a friend who truly wants to help. As we seek to achieve health for all, Taiwan can help, and Taiwan is helping.